I've purchased 10,000 shade balls to try to swim in. Now, there is a scientific and safe way to test this, which would be to go in the shallow end, but I'm gonna jump in the deep end and just see if I can swim. It was probably right about now that I thought back to my conversation with the shade ball manufacturer. You don't recommend swimming in shade balls. No. So do you think it's a bit dangerous, maybe? It's a dangerous. So dangerous, in fact, that he regularly refuses requests from residential customers. I appreciate you making an exception for science, and we will not promote this as a thing that people should do. We will show people what, it, what happens, and therefore that they should probably not do it. What makes shade balls inherently more dangerous than other plastic balls is that they're half full of water, so they're heavy. This bag of 1,200 shade balls weighs 300 kilograms, or 660 pounds. So when I ordered uh, 10,000 of these things, I didn't really think about how hard it would be to get them home. But now we have them all in the back of a U-Haul. Now the only challenge, getting them out. After driving the largest vehicle I've ever attempted across LA, I hired a moving company. Time to release the balls. <laughs> Go! It's just about there. And you can see already the balls have sort of arranged themselves in crystal structures. We basically got a single layer of balls on the whole pool. I'm gonna jump in and try to swim with them. Which brings us back to... Two, one. I'm swimming. <laughs> so this is breaststroke. And um, I can swim, but I am getting a lot of balls in the face. 